In this workflow, we will cover the optical stacking attributes, which was the first stacking method to enhance the hydrocarbon anomalies that emerge in seismic interpretation software. Optical stacking stacks seismic traces that are on either side of a 2D profile, which is ideally oriented such that the depth contour lines are crossed perpendicular to the line direction. The traces in the stacking direction can be expected to have similar fluid effects, same as the hydrocarbon columns, hence subtle hydrocarbon effects are enhanced. So in this exercise, we will use the optical stacking to enhance the amplitude anomaly on a random line. So we will go to the 3D horizon add and we will select demo 6 fs8 horizon and ok then we launch the 3d attribute set choose volume attributes from the drop down list we specify the four deep steered median filter as input we keep the same time gate and the shape cylinder and the step out will set it to zero. The output statistic will use RMS. Then we specify the output name as RMS amplitude and we add as a new. Close the window and we can create a new attribute set. We we'll call it Flatspot Attributes and OK. We right click on the Horizon Demo 6, FS8, Add Attribute, select the Attribute Set RMS Amplitude and OK. We can optionally change the color bar for RMS Amplitude to Rainbow Plus. We can see very clear anomaly on the southeast of the map, so we would generate a random line crossing this anomaly. For that, we go to the random line in the tree, new interactive. Change the color, for example, to black. Then we pick a random line going through the structure where the amplitude anomaly is seen. Using the left mouse button, and clicking on the map to insert a node. Once we finish, we just double click to end the random line. Then we OK. Then we right click on the newly created random line and we save as and we can call it optical stacking and OK. Then we launch the attribute set 3D we select the volume statistics with the input deep steered median filter and we change shape to optical stack. Then we define the following parameter. We set the time gate to 00, zero. the stack step out to 15 and we change the output statistic to average and steering to full. And the steering data will be the steering background. With the bin size of 25 meter, the stack step out of 15 is equal to 375 meter. So we can change the attribute name to optical stacking. Then we add as a new and close. Then we go back to the tree random line, right click on the random line in the tree under optical stacking and add attributes and select the optical stack and OK. So we can rotate the display and deselect the horizon from the tree. We can now evaluate the optical stacking step out by going back to the 3D attribute set and select the optical stack and evaluate icon. Change the evaluate to optical stack step out and the number of step to five. Just move the window to the side and calculate.
By moving the slider, we can evaluate the step out, see the result interactively till we reach the optimum value. Then we accept and close the attribute 3D window. Then we can uh, compare the optical stack and result with the uh, input seismic by checking and unchecking the two cubes from the tree. This concludes the optical stacking attribute computation workflow that show how to enhance the amplitude anomalies.